She's a biker chick. Maybe she's a member of that biker gang I was talking about earlier. That leather jacket looks like it was stolen from Ryo Hazuki from Shenyu. Another one of my favorites. The reception. Let's hope they've got a room left. Or a gammy killer. Is there a TV that this is coming from? Or maybe a radio. There's a TV. Who's this dude? Hey dude. Yeah, you can't go very far from your target here. That looks like the lunchroom across the way. All Horn Tropal? That doesn't make any sense. Did they get the intern to write that one? Oh, there's like the sound of a muffled TV from the back. This guy was watching TV back there. Probably watching some porn. I'll take the sunglasses. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Yeah, just for me. It's not your job to rent rooms or anything. You should get that gingivitis checked out. Single? Did she actually write that she was no, single on the register? I don't know yet. I have a feeling she didn't. Rams I don't even know if one. Madison Page is her West real name West. or if that's an alias because uh, she could be like an undercover cop or something. Thanks. She fights pretty well in her dreams. We're looking for room 27. Can I talk to you? Room oh, room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. I don't know why 27 was in my mind. This is 109, so I guess the first, you would go up a level from the ground floor to get to the first floor in this motel. Maybe that's another French thing. Although this game really feels like it's taking place in America. I mean, it has an FBI agent on the case and everything. 207, that's my room. 207, no, 201 is my room. 205. Holy shit. This is the same motel Ethan is staying at. Sir? Are you alright? I thought that um, Scott Shelby was going to run into him on one of these adventures, but I didn't oh, think that these two were going to meet. No, I'm good. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. His room is 207. I tried to go into his room before thinking it was my room. Go slowly. Slowly. They tried to make her extra sexy, like her butt swings, you know, um unnaturally whenever she makes the slightest movement. Have you got the key? They sure succeeded in making her extra sexy.
I'm really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. You must have one, maybe two broken ribs. I have a feeling he doesn't want to see a doctor. He's kind of in a rush. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I'll help him first and ask questions later. I'm going to look under the bed and see if I can find the shoebox. I guess she can look under there because she has no knowledge of it. Can I go out on the balcony? I should be able to go out on the balcony in the rain and just like have a smoke and collect my thoughts. There's a bunch of medicine in here. Am I just going to take it all? I should disinfect his cuts. Disinfect his cuts? Oh, you put it back down? Paracamol painkiller. Paracamol painkiller. Pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Can I walk with this stuff? Oh yeah, I press X to help. Or I can put it back down. This is a puzzle where you like choose what to give him. Paraphenol anti-fever. Anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Well, wait until he tells me he has a fev fever before giving him that. What's the other choice? Necrophrin 100 antibiotics. Antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. I think I have to give him disinfectant first, and then antibiotics. And then maybe painkiller. I should disinfect his cuts. Let's do that first. I'm going to disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Gentle. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. Necrophrin 100 antibiotics. Administer yes. to combat infection. You need an antibiotic badly. Here, take this. It should do you some good. What is it? It's an antibiotic. An antibiotic? I'm no doctor, but I don't think there's any risk of infection with a broken rib. Oh, he has a broken rib. Okay, I'll see if I can find anything else. He doesn't have cuts. Just bruises. Maybe he does need the fever medicine then. I'm trying not to give him the painkiller because I don't want him to be woozy if he has to go back Everything out there and do another trial. Fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. I'm just going to give him the anti-fever. He can deal with the pain. Here, take this. It should do you some good. What is it? It'll help bring down the fever. But I'm, uh, not running a fever. Oh, he's not running a fever. Okay, I'll see if I can find anything else. Listen, thanks for your time, <laughs> but I think I can take it from here. Right. I better go. I guess I failed on that one. By the way, I'm Ethan. Madison. Maybe she really is named Madison. Now that I'm Ethan and I'm alone, I'm going to go to the bathroom and take a painkiller. <laughs> If you want him to have the painkiller, you have to give it to him as a uh, medicine, and to be honest, I'm kind of glad that I didn't. Once I had an ear infection, and I went to a Denny's in St. George, Utah, and uh, asked the waitress if she had any painkillers, and uh, 
what I meant to ask was for pain relievers. I just wanted like ibuprofen and she just looked at me funny and she was like, no, we do not give out painkillers here. My ear hurt so bad that I couldn't think of the right word. That's how much you get charged if you don't put this stuff back. Is he really going to take out the box and go back out there? Man, I'm thirsty. Yeah, let's go to the fridge and see if there's any water in there. We don't want you to dehydrate and die. There's no police cars parked outside. That's a good sign. We're one step ahead of the fuzz. Is there no fridge in here? Maybe there's something in like the closet. Some bottled water or something, room temperature. Just drink some tap water, dude. Oh, I need to turn my head to see it. There's a symbol down there, but I can't. There it is. The prompt for that action was hiding out of sight. He's not going to drink. He's just going to look at himself in the mirror if I do that. It's not going to help him. Grab one of those cups and have a drink, man. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. The box. I have to open another origami figure. I'm still in pain, but i got to keep going. I guess he doesn't want to have a drink. Your son's not going to be saved if you get dehydrated. It's not really... Oh, there's a bottle of something. No, 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 not that. Drink, Ethan, drink. Stay away from the box. Drink whatever is in that bottle. Here, sit down in this chair. It's so hard to get your character to stay, like, facing the right direction. I have to learn to turn his head instead of, like, trying to move him all the time. There's no prompts to, like, drink from the bottle. I can't move his head. Okay. I've completely failed my quest for a beverage. already got the gun. I don't know if he has a concealed carry permit, but he's probably not worried about that at a time like this. That looks like that was made from a dollar bill. That was made from twenty dollar bills? The old power plant on... I couldn't read that, it was too fast. The old power plant on somewhere. Street. Killer threw in like 60 bucks in case he needs to buy supplies on his way. I want to see what happens to Ethan. This guy is okay, but uh, he's definitely my least favorite character. I like Ethan, I like Madison, and I like Scott who always seems to be stepping in and saving the day. Well, this guy's on a fun investigation of his own. Out in La La Land, that probably isn't going to lead any closer to the killer. Because he's like barking up all the wrong trees. And Scott has all these great clues that he doesn't. Is that the first time? 
Sorry? First time you killed somebody. It always does something to you the first time. And you get used to it. How many guys has this cop killed in the line of duty? I'm just gonna stay with aggressive. If you hadn't acted like that with a guy, it wouldn't have happened. So back off! I'm just gonna choose aggressive every time I have an option with this guy. That's him. Blake. He's gonna book it. The suspect never gets away in these, uh, you know, crime thrillers, but he always tries to run. Oh no, I got slowed down by a fallen body. Fuck, I'm so slow. Circle, good, I made it. Skated over that car. He should be farther away with how many times I've been tripped up already. I dodged them all, that was awesome. I'm getting better at these. Just don't panic and you'll be fine. Got up on the display, now I jumped down on him. Oh fuck, I stumbled. It's okay, I tackled him, I got him. No, he's getting up again. He's throwing fish at me. Don't slip. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Steady yourself. Keep going. Chickens. This is almost comical. Shake the chicken off. Turn left. He's in the meat locker. I'm just gonna shoot this guy. I shot the first subject and suspect, and uh, this guy is much more of an asshole than the first suspect. Plus, he got ice on me and like chicken poop. I'm serious. I'm gonna shoot him. You don't run from uh, Agent Jaden. Oh. Yes, I turned the tables on him. I grabbed the crowbar. Shit. He's in trouble now. They make these confrontations like really long and drawn out. They'd be more exciting if they were like short and sweet. Wrestle, 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 wrestle. No, don't headbutt me. Oh my god, I, I passed every single prompt and I'm still getting my ass kicked. I did every single thing right. None of them turned red. Oh, oh, I missed that one. I could have gotten there. I do better when I miss the prompts than when I pass them. He's out cold. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Our origami killer. Teacher said I don't talk too good. Never was one for much of them schooling. Never did much pharma. It was a cool chase scene. I wonder if I got a trophy just for playing it or if I got a trophy for um, apprehending the suspect. I look a little hung over here. It's tough having to save everybody. Deep breaths, guy. You're gonna be okay. 
Maybe you should order some Chinese. Is this your office or your house? This might be your home office. Denver Police Department. He's looking through like some old case reports from other agencies. Get my gun. Seven in the clip, one in the hole. I guess he's just checking to make sure it's loaded in case he needs to pull it out later. Oh, he has a badge. He's a retired police officer. You can get away with murder if you have one of them. Time for a puff. Feel the burn, Scott. Feel the burn. There's that bourbon. I can't read the label. Black Jack. I think the label says Black Jack. That's a nice fake brand. I guess it's whiskey maybe. It's like a parody of Jack Daniels. For a second I thought he was going to reach for a cigarette too, as though he doesn't have enough vices already. Check the files. Surely. What book does he have on top of his file cabinet? Escondido. I can't read that, I'm just making stuff up. Can I sit down on the couch and read the newspaper? Alright, what's on your mind? I the rest. I yeah, gee, I wonder why. I've seen the pairs of all the victims. All I've come up with is a telephone and a box of work. So he's only come up with one box because um, all of the other fathers took the box with them before they disappeared. The Indian guy needed to mind his store, I guess. I mean, that's the only explanation. It's tough working convenience store. You can't always, like, you know, get a day off to save your son's life. He strikes me actually as more of the proprietor type than an employee, but still. Yeah, just keep drinking stuff. If it has a label, drink it. Don't even read the label, Scott. Just open and close. Nothing in there. Some tumblers. I can't see that. I need to change the camera angle in order to pick up the paper. It's just another origami killer headline. We've seen plenty of them. Someone's ringing the doorbell. You said oh, I'm glad you're still alive. You anything. I was concerned about you. Can I come in? Have you heard of sexually transmitted diseases, Miss? Sure. They're a thing. 